Yeah, yeah hello, Barbara. No, just a quick call to see how we're getting on with our... Um... In Ghana's capital, Accra, we meet Godwin Mate. He is the owner of Glade Digital Printing, a printing company that focuses on marketing communication. Their client portfolio includes big multinational companies. Glade Digital Printing is now also entering the world of on-demand digital printing. We want to try and be ahead of what we're doing simply because that's the way to go. That's, we're adding value to people's business. We're providing a service that is not actually local. Things that people are actually importing in and we're saying we can actually do that here. Um, so effectively, that's why, that's why it's important to stay ahead. In just a few days' time, the company will get a new advanced digital flatbed printing machine, the first of its kind in Ghana. Right, in this room, this is where we're going to have the new flatbed machine. The machine required a huge investment, but it is worthwhile. It is imperative to stay ahead of the competition, even though ultimately the competition will copy the concept. Well, how much time will we be ahead of the competition? I mean, uh, typically I'd have thought between 12 to 18 months is probably all we need, because um, we'll try and guard it as closely as possible. Um, but inevitably people will find out about it and um, somebody else will go and get one and another will get one. And um, if you ask me how do we intend to stay ahead of the competition, we'll continue to innovate, we'll continue to add new products, new ways of doing things to it. It's not going to be the end of it. We always have to innovate just to stay ahead of the competition. The company is doing well at the moment, but it has previously experienced serious challenges. Some years ago, the founder had to leave the country for family matters. Due to a lack of motivation, the company caretakers were not able to sustain business growth. You know, if the call came through, then fine, but nobody actually went and did the push. So naturally, the customers and end users filtered away and got other other competitors who were more aggressive than we were. So it was just a case of us not being in their face and being more aggressive. Um, it's, I mean, I suppose one of those things where um, most businesses, if it's a single entrepreneur, you know, at the end of the day is your dream, is your vision. And, and sometimes it's difficult to actually sell that dream and vision to somebody who can be as enthusiastic as you, 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 you are. You know, so it's just that translation is lost a little bit. So be it the team was, you know, good, you know, reasonably good to, to, to look after things. Um, they weren't as enthusiastic as I was, which is a better word. So naturally that enthusiasm feeds off onto the clients as well and end users and it sort of filtered off. The business suffered in Godwin's absence. However, this provided valuable insights which helped move the company forward. Well, absolutely. I mean, the way I look at things is in every adversity there's a seed of benefit. And the benefit I got out of this was the business was way too young to be left alone. And secondly, the, the, the structures weren't right for it to be left alone. You know, so um, what lessons have I learned from that? You know, build a better team, build a stronger team, build people who have some sort of ownership mentality as well and can appreciate what it is that we're doing together. And, 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 and I mean, if you take the word team, for example, I mean, the acronym is together, each achieves more. So we all achieve more by being together, um, not being separate. And I can't be egotistical and say, this is my business, so every decision has to come from me. It's tiring in the process as well. I mean, I didn't start the business to get tired. I started the business to make some money. So if I give a piece of that to people to make them feel like they're part of it and in the process I make more money, then I suppose we've all achieved what it is that we, we, we set out to. Back to the day-to-day -day printing business. Godwin Mate has a degree in printing, which is important. To be successful as an entrepreneur, you need to fully understand your business. Printer already and they're just creasing the covers. 
putting the crease through it. Right, that's, this is also a single color machine. Um, it's a medium offset. Um, I mean, it's important that you understand what it is that you're doing. Um, understanding exactly what the machine can do. Um, it's a single color machine, but we do full color jobs on it. Um, it's important that you understand what it is. I mean, I have, uh, fortunately, I have a, a first degree in printing, printing technology, printing management. So I actually understand what it is that the machines can do, and that's very important. But if you do understand the basics, you can help them. You can point them in the right direction. Then it makes you a better entrepreneur or a better businessman. It's actually understanding the process and saying, well, why don't you do it like this? You know, why don't you do it like that? Being able to offer alternatives and helping them. That way, you work together as a team, which is very important. You don't lord over anybody, but it's, you actually understand what it is that you're doing. To learn to delegate, you know, and, and, and in delegating, you have to let the people that you're delegating to feel like they're part of what you're doing. You know, it's not like the checkbook is in your pocket and you're the one that does everything, but you invite people in and give them responsibility. And, you know, obviously, you don't micromanage people as you, 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 you delegate to them, but you, you let them bring in their ideas as well. And by doing that, you're building a team and you're fostering that closeness. And then slowly, you work off that ownership mentality and, and give the people their confidence so they feel like they're part of something. I just, want it, I just want the people to feel a part of it. It's not just me, 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 no. It's a company and we're all doing it together.